No. No, we're recording right now. Anything you say, Ken, we'll be had against okay. you and record it, Pammy. <laughs> All right, it's good. All right, welcome yeah. to National Team Beauty. And Jennifer is here with her team. Jennifer, introduce yourself. I am Jennifer. I am the um, Tammy's one of her first reps, kind of, sort of. One of the first ones that stuck with me. Yeah, I hung you, around. You and Betty Everybody. stuck with me. Yep. Uh, yeah. Been with Avon. Yes, since Christy. <laughs> Go ahead. When? I start October 2018. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I got my own little team. I wish they would jump in and involve themselves, but I guess they got stuff they got to do too. So yeah, they it's will, but they can watch this later. So we got our Obi Wan. Thank you, Obi Wan. Christy, explain or introduce yourself real quick. It's just us three for right now. I am recording it. So whoever joins <laughs> it later, say what? I agree with you. I was gonna say it's just us three. Jennifer already knows me, so. <laughs> well, I know, but it's being recorded, so whoever watches it later. Yeah. How many years do you have? What with Avon? I, what? I have thirteen years, and it seems like she has more because Christy is very smart, and I've soaked it like a sponge and I uh, passed it on down. So between us three, we got this. So the only thing I know to do since it's S3 and it's being recorded is to just go over what I wanted to go over. <laughs> and then if you all want to get some tips, and I've only got 40 minutes, so. And I don't see on my screen where it actually says it started recording. So I guess when it shuts it, us off, it shuts us off. I say it came up like right before Christy come on. Yeah, it says it's recording. Okay. Yeah, it's got the little thing up in the front. All right, so y'all introduce yourself. So I'm Tammy, and my husband and I are co-applicants. And here comes, comes Sherry. Sherry. Yep. Welcome, Sherry. I'm glad y'all are. We already did our introduction. So uh, once this is over, you want to go back and watch it, then you can find out the all the the goodies. So I guess she's with us. Hopefully, it says her name. So hi, Sherry. I'm glad you could make it. Um, basically, I just wanted to introduce us three so that if I'm not available, you can hit up our OB1, which is Christy. And then uh, and we also have Jennifer. So between us three, hopefully somebody can get some information for you. So um, I was in customer service most of my life. And then uh, my 88-year-old mother moved in with us four years ago, three or four years ago. So I'm not able to work outside the home. So I work from home and whatever chance I get to get out in public. So we're just gonna give you some tips on mainly how we how we push our business. I was hoping that you could uh, would be here to give us some questions. So Sherry, what kind of questions do you have any? Do you know everything? She's connecting the audio. There we go. Are you there, Sherry? Yeah. All right. Do you have any questions that you want answered? No, I think I'm okay. You think you're okay? Man, I wish I'd known all that when I started. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Christy, let's talk about the fundraiser real quick. You're you're the you're the uh, expert, so. Tell us real quick how the fundraiser works. Um, you're going to you're going to use one of the two flyers or both flyers that Tammy posted the link to, and you're just going to share with everyone that those items, any anything purchased off those flyers on those items, are going a portion of the proceeds will go towards Crusade for Children. Um, once we have ended the fundraiser, you're going to go in and log in with a special code that is on the fundraiser site um, and then place the orders that they have purchased. Um, About one week we maybe think we should do that. Because I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, 
if we go, if we start it now, mm -hmm. then about every two weeks, we're going to want to put an order in because oh, okay. you don't want your customers, you know, because crusade isn't till May, right? June 6th so and 7th. We don't want the these customers. Well, we don't want these customers to wait on their product clear till May or June. Right. So if they place an order, what we're going to need to do is every two weeks, put an order, that fundraiser order in, deliver it, collect, and, and then just put that money that we have collected for that organization aside. Because like I said, those customers are not going to want to wait. Well, yeah, and I wouldn't blame them, product. but I mean, I have before with band and stuff like that. So, so basically, will we just have to start a new fundraiser every two weeks then? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, you can keep it because we can put the start date now to the end date, June, and we can keep submitting that fundraiser. Not, but you always have to put that number in before you put your product number. Right. In. Right. Okay. So we'll cover more of that later. So okay. I didn't realize it was was that in depth either, but I agree of not making the customers wait. I mean, I had before for orders back when my kids were in high school, but uh, that's that's right. So that yeah, that's good too. And we can also go in. We don't have to use just the flyers. We've got that availability of using an online fundraiser as well. So we can post. We can create a link for that okay. and post it, and that way people outside of our area that aren't seeing our flyers right can actually stop on that on that and have it directly delivered to them we just have to remember that we need to take out a portion of the of right. the earnings to go and put it into a separate envelope and, and mark it for your fundraiser and so that you don't spend it for any other households and the last thing you want to do is spend that money and have to make up for it at the end so i've known people that's done that before just put it in a separate envelope or make a menu order out of it, whatever you got to do so that you don't touch it, bring it to me or Jennifer or whomever that you trust and not spend it or whatever. Just keep it separate. Okay. So, uh, the only thing, one thing I wanted to make sure, make sure this, are we done with fundraisers? Oh, I was going to say, you better, anybody have a question on the fundraisers? Sarah, you got any questions? No, not no. yet. Okay. Are you good, Jen? Yeah, for the most part, yeah. All right. I hear your little Indians running around behind you. Bite <laughs> <laughs> <Right, right>, my butt. <laughs> They're all running around. No I had my back, my door open because my mom fell while I go with the glass bowl full of ramen noodles in. So I had to run in there and check on that. So yeah, I don't, I, my door is open even though I got my, my background here. I can get to her quick. So y'all might have right. seen my not made up bed and my big old dog laying on the bed, but you know, that's life. Life goes on. We are Avon <laughs> ladies. Um, the only thing that I want to say before time runs out is nobody knows that you are an Avon lady or a boss lady unless you are posting, 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 posting. Can I get an amen? <laughs> I've got a thousand posts a day. And I've actually got on to them. I was like, hey, how do they know y'all selling? They yeah. don't know you're selling yet. I mean, you're not preaching to you, so. Out, but you're not, you're not doing anything to promote it where they can see you. So. You know, it's just something you got to learn, especially if you're used to working outside the home and this is your, your side gig, you know, and, and you're posting anyway. So I'm going to just give you a couple of my little tricks and then. I'm going to let Christy and Jennifer chime in on that. So my little tricks are, I will find a little meme or something, or maybe just a picture of my grandchild, my dog, Johnny and I, and I will put my name down at the bottom. It'll either say Tammy and I'll tell it, or I might have my, my web store address, or it'll say Tell It My Beauty. The thing about memes is if people really think it's funny or it hits their heart and they like it, they're going to share, 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 share. So if you at least have your business name on there, your website on there, your name on there, and people are sharing this and it's going through social media and we know how stuff can just keep going, your name's on there. Guess what? They're going to find you. They're going to look up and say, well, who's that? Who's this Tammy Nautilla? Who's this Christy Scoble? Who's this Jennifer? Who are these people? They're going to start searching you up. And hashtag your name, hashtag your business name, hashtag anything that comes back to you. If you go hashtag Tammy Nautilla, hashtag Tell It Beauty, hashtag Johnny Tell It, you're going to find 
almost everything that I have on social media because I do it on Facebook, Twitter. I'm on everywhere. YouTube, you'll find something about my business on social media pretty much everywhere. So, Christy, any tips on that? Um, if you're, if Avon's your side gig and you don't have a whole lot of time, but you have time to be on social media or you have time, let's say on your day off, you've got a time to spend maybe 30 minutes, schedule your post. You can schedule posts to post all through the week at a specific time, but don't do them at the same time every day. Scatter them because if you do them at the same time every day, you're pretty much going to hit the same audience because those people are always on at the same time. Where if you scatter it, you're going to hit a different audience. True. Jennifer is the queen of social media, of the, of the posting them out. I don't do that personally. I have. I have done it. But I have more time at home. So anybody like like that's out of the home and, and Christy uh, is always on the go. This this woman's never still. She went through with cancer two bouts and has come back cancer free both times. Yay! Because God is good. And this woman never stopped. Even in the hospital, she was posting about her business. She was selling to the nurses. And the people who brought her food, everybody that came that room, they knew that Christy was an Avon rat. <laughs> she was working it and her sales still they did not drop so right. jennifer yep tell us quickly about when you go in to do your scheduling whenever i go in to do it i try to set aside like sundays are my rest days from exercising and whatnot so whenever i get home from work at like three o'clock on sundays i go in and i get my cup of coffee and i sit down and i do about 30 to 45 minutes of scheduled post for the week and then if I know that I got something coming up in that week, then I'll go ahead and throw out some more for the next week over. I have two business pages. Oh, I'm going to stay out of the bedroom. Sorry. You're fine. But I've, always, <laughs> I've got two different business pages. So I do what Christy said, and I try to go in and scatter them out to where if they're hitting one business page, like two hours later, it, another one will hit the other business page. So I try to hit about, between seven to 12 days out. This way I know even if I can't get on to make a post, which I usually try to anyway, you know, something personal, you know, I'll still get on there to make sure that uh, the audience is going. Hey, Sherry, as far as, uh, have you been into the Avon Social? The Avon Social? Like, what do you mean? Okay, when you when you log into your Avon to where you know the rep logs in at, mm -hmm. you log in there at the top. Now, do you log in with your phone or computer or both, or how do you do that? My phone. Okay. Uh, at the top, it's going to say Avon Social from the top of the phone. Am I right, Christy, Jennifer, somebody? I work from my computer mostly, but. Yeah, if you go in on a tablet, it's up there at the top right hand side. Like on your, where it says your account. It's on the right hand side. I'm gonna pull up on my okay. phone real quick here. If I get too much internet though, I have Windstream and Christian, I know Windstream sucks, so <laughs> um I think we have to click the little hamburger they call it, those little three. I don't. No. Yeah, I do on mine. You have to click those three level lines. And then it'll show you your name, and then underneath it's Avon U, Alma, and Avon Social. It'll eventually Alma will be gone, so it'll be Avon U and Avon Social. Okay. Um, what I'll do, Sherry, I'm gonna do a print screen of that on my phone, and then I will post that to show you. But then you're gonna click on Avon Social. Mm -hmm. yeah. Come on, phone, work with me here. And when you first sign in, it's been a while since I've had to sign in, but I'm trying to remember how that goes. You'll have to uh, put in your, anything that you have on social media, like your Facebook page, uh, Twitter, anything you have, but at least your Facebook page. Do you have any other social media? No. Okay. Um, I apologize for screaming. Oh, that's fine. You can mute yourself if you want to for now. And then you can unmute whenever you want to say something. It's up to you. I mean, they're not bothering me. I'm used to kids. I got okay, kids uh, running around here too, so I'm good. 
so anyway, you'll have to log in to that, Sherry, and uh, give them your Facebook. And then you're going to click on Content Planner. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, and then uh, it's so much different from the phone. I don't know. Who work? Do you work from your phone, Christy, or do you when you do social media or the I do. social? Okay, then you want to take this for a minute. I do both because I I don't think I've actually ever done one from my phone. To tell you the truth, I may have. I'm sure I have. But go ahead, Christy, because we only got 40 minutes, so I'll let you um, instead of me swimming around. Well, once you click, once you it, it's basically when you click on it from your phone. Um, my, I haven't I haven't logged in for a while, but when you click on it from your phone, it's going to ask you to actually connect your Facebook accounts to your um, to the Avon Social link. Because it asks you for that every every two months, have, doesn't it? Yeah, it just ask me for a refresh, and I haven't re I have so that's why I haven't. Right. But um, yeah, you're going to need to connect it. Once you've connected it. Then you can go in and select and you can just scroll through it. It gives you all kinds of um, things that you can choose from. You can choose ads from current campaign or the next campaign. Um, or you can just post like there's recipes on there. So if you don't want to connect, you know, always post business stuff that you've got other things that you can connect, you can post. But always make sure that your website is linked to that so that when they click on it, it'll, it'll take them to the website, your website to shop from. All right. And, and the thing about that, Avon used to be pretty loose with us making our own pictures and, and I had turned out to be the social media queen with taking the pictures, adding stuff to it and all that. Then they stopped us. So now we have pretty much used what pictures they give us in the social media uh, on their Avon social, or uh, you can share directly from the book, and that's going to be a whole new training <laughs> to, to do that. But uh, Avon social is great because you get your free pictures. They will they will uh, insert your link for you to your store if you want mm -hmm. to uh, if you want to recruit. And then you post it. And then once you post it, once they click on your picture, your links are all there. They will click your link and go straight to your store. They can order straight from your store or look at the book and then PM you or have contact you for that order. So, mm -hmm. I mean, personally, I would suggest getting more social media, but just starting out on, on Facebook. You know, it's, it's a start. But everything you post, make sure you have your, your, at least that uh, I'm selling Avon, put it in the comments, put your Avon stores. Always a way, always a way to get your name out there. Mm -hmm. More Christy on that? I would, um, I, 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 I think if you go to Avon, Avon U, there is a, um, a set of files and videos that will walk you through setting There is. Uh, Avon U is right next to Avon, so you'll have Avon Social first, top of the phone. No, it's Avon U first on the top of the phone. Why her hand off? It's Avon U, then Alma, then Avon Social. So um, Avon U is the first one on the link. Okay, can you see that, Christy? Or I mean, Sherry? Yeah, I can see it. You know who you are. It's always tell my kids. You know who you are. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is a little blurry, but I can somewhat see it. Well, I'll tell you what. It's <laughs> so bright here is the other night when it was raining so hard, I had a major leak. So we had to take the blinds and curtains and everything down. And so we're still trying to get the, mm -hmm. we'll be put up to seal the uh, the leak to uh, cure. So always so good. True. Um, let's see. So we did the introduction. We did the welcome. Uh, talk about social media. Talk about the fundraiser. Uh, real quickly, because uh, I'm just trying to grab some real things to tell you quick. Samples can get expensive at first whenever you're first starting out. And Sherry, I know that you just lost your job, so you're you're doing what you can. Mm -hmm. I understand that. Believe me. I bought a pack of these rice water wipes. Mm -hmm. And I took them and I and I got the uh, the snack bags. Uh -huh. 
and I and I took one out, put it into the snack bag, and I printed labels. You don't have to do that. You can write on there what it is: rice water wipes. This is your free sample, whatever you want to do it, and mm -hmm. put on social media and say one free rice wipe. You know, with with your Avon book. Mm -hmm. That way, you got people saying, "Yeah, I want a book," and then yeah. Don't let people use you though. People will use you for free samples easily, but you're first trying to get started. So whatever you can find to get your name out there to get help, you can buy uh, lotions and, and just put, you know, a squeeze in there. There'll be enough for their hand. Um, help me out people. Perfumes, you can get cotton balls and you can put them into little individual baggies. Put a little spritz of that perfume on there, sell them up tight, put the name of it is, put that with your Avon book. Felt. Felt works really good for that. Uh, when it I does. worked with Lucy, we would take felt and put it into like um, uh, the melted wax, pull it out. You can take one one piece of felt and make probably a hundred samples. And you can do right, the same I, thing with the spray. And I had bought those the, the rose petals that they had them at the Dollar Tree. And at first I was putting one whole rose petal into the baggie and I was like, well, you know, they don't care that it's a rose petal. So I started slicing them down and you just spritz that up, put it in the baggie, seal it tight, write what it is on there, stick it with your, Avon. you'd be amazed how many you can get out of one rose petal. So Christy, what do you do? I've used rose petals. I've used, um, I've actually used business cards. I've just spritzed it on the back of my business card. Now, see, I forgot that I have one friend who's extremely sensitive, so I'd have to be careful that I'd keep all those separate. But that is a good idea. Now, I know that Malegros Garcia spritzes her her brochures. Yeah, and that's what I've, I've, seen, I've seen. I've seen people do that, but with the business cards, like if I'm out and about and I've got a, uh, if for example, that new perfume that I just got in the meeting in the box. Yeah, that's if I want to demo that, I'm going to care. I'm. It was um, Rose and Penny. But okay, if I want to demo it and I'm out, out and about, I just spritz it on the back of the business card and give them the business card. Okay. So you do it one at a time. Spraying it. Yeah. Instead right. of spraying it on them or spraying it on, you know, something. Because if you're out and about, you, do, you don't have cotton balls hand with you. You don't That's have true. felt with you. But you should have your business cards. So yeah <laughs> okay yeah and that, that's a good idea actually but and i usually try to carry uh some perfume and i even have one bottle of, of johnny's true gent that has just a little bit left in it and i've got that down of course i carry the big avon bag so i have a bottle of that down there so if anybody says uh, anything about men's clone or whatever i'll say well this is the true gent you know and they'll smell it i've sold it that way i've sold so many honey blossom i've got women hooked on this honey blossom too that that are, are buying it and uh because you know i was in love with luck and they got rid of luck but honey blossom did come back and say and win my heart okay sherry do you have any questions no i'm okay okay um have you ordered books yet are you going to order books with your order i think i'm actually going to set it up to where they just order online for me they order online from you okay um if you do that uh unless you want to i would turn off rep delivery then i mean that's up to you mm -hmm. anybody have an opinion on turning rep delivery off if she's yeah i mean if she does not want to deliver that's the way i would do it but if she sure. doesn't mind delivering she could still leave it for her local people and that's why I do it. I have it completely turned off to where that if you're local to me in these local cities around me, I will deliver to you if, if you know you don't order five dollars and, and live in Litchfield, they're gonna bring it to you because I'm not doing it. <laughs> not doing it. <laughs> um, another troll coming in. No, oh, they're fine. I'm surprised you can't hear Sassy snoring behind me, her little pug nose. Mm -hmm. I have already got it two rods, two of rods. Okay, how much, what time are we at? 12.25. Okay. There is a tomato. Do you have any words of wisdom, anybody? Push your business. Push it. Push. Push. Real good. 
Right. <laughs> people don't know you're selling. People ain't going to buy from you. And something I've learned, people don't buy the merchandise. They buy the representative. That's well. exactly right. And I told you from the beginning, uh, trust. They, yes. Like, we're all three in the same game, but we all three bring something different. Right, you know, exactly. You don't have the same merchandise, yes, and I can get you the same deals for the most part. But mm -hmm. there's something that you know each of us can do differently that Why may yeah. attract another person. Why and it's all about trust. It's all about trust. Um, you, you, if somebody orders from you, you let them know. Okay, I'm gonna place my order on so and so a date, and um, two to three business days that'll be delivered to me. Right. I'll get it to you. I have. I try to set up where I deliver only on Thursdays. Right. And that's when people know I'm going to deliver you on, deliver to you on Thursdays. I have one lady, I take it, put it on her porch. She leaves me a check or she pays me either PayPal or, or uh, Facebook messenger. And uh, we got a system. I got the stuff and she's got the money. <laughs> so, um, Christy. Yes. <laughs> Any last words? Um, this is basically for the leaders. Uh, mind your new people that when they came in and they accepted the terms and conditions and signed their contract, they agreed with Avon that they would place an order every two campaign, every, I mean, every campaign. Because um, there's got, there, there are some other leaders that have been telling their new people, oh, you can place an order whenever. You can within that, you can place an order with, whenever within that two campaigns, but you have agreed with Avon. That is your agreement. That's true. That you play, will place an order every campaign. That's true. Um, yeah. And, and, and what I have to say, but you can, I usually do two orders, but that's because I have uh, two sets of customers who have just got in that, in that uh, routine. You don't have to do that. You can do it every two weeks and um you have christy and i one that we've heard now there's one thing that says until noon we've always heard till 5 p.m it's always been till noon right actually but they gave us till five on tuesday it was in in the very beginning it was we had to have it in by 11 59 a.m in order for it to count for that campaign now they have said we have till 5 p.m but the way this cut the way the policies and procedures read it says to have it in by noon and with this new company that that bought us out i wouldn't wait any later than that mm. um because anything if an order goes on hold which you know the new people coming in that are not pc or or at that um what is it premier level right if you're not premier or pc when they when they switched over you're going to have to pay for your orders up front so there shouldn't be any orders unless you're at that level that are going on hold right um because there's no more so credit. technically technically you still have till 5 p.m but if the system crashes which and it's been known to do, do. <laughs> um or there's just a glitch somewhere you want that leadway you want to get it in by noon so you have that leadway from noon to five o'clock if there's an error that you can get on the phone with customer service and you can find out what's going on or you can get the problem resolved if you wait until 5 p.m the system crashes just as you're putting that order in that order did not get received by avon it doesn't get counted for that campaign it'll go towards the next campaign because you'll be placing it after 5 p.m. Right. And I would tell my customer is that I'm going to be placing the order. Um, I tell them when I first started, I would tell them a day or two prior to when I was going to be placing the order. That way, if anybody did come in and say, oh, I wanted to, well, okay, I'll get it added for you. And then that don't, don't tell them, oh, well, I have till Tuesday to noon or five o'clock to place my order because you'll be having people pee and you going, oh, is it too late? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you want to get your order together, have it ready to submit prior to that. I do mine a day early, actually. I have been known to do them on Tuesdays, but you, um, with the free Avon rep sign up, there are a whole lot more reps. They're running out of books because there's so many more 
product might be sorted out too. So get your order in there to make sure your customer gets their, their product and you get your books. Um, I know campaign five are gone and campaign six campaign might be. Six are gone. They're okay. gone. Luckily I ordered a hundred before that happened. I usually yeah. order, try to order two ahead what I can get. So you that's always good. want you, that, that was the other thing. You always want to order your campaign books two campaigns ahead. So right now we're in campaign five. When you place your order, you want to order campaign seven books. You, right. you won't, right, especially right now, you're not going to get campaign six and you're not going to get it, you know, anything else. So you right. need to order campaign seven. Next campaign, when we're in six, you're going to order eight. And part of the reason for that is one, because Avon's been running out of books. They haven't been producing enough. Um, uh oh. No, it just says you've been, up, you've been upgraded to unlimited minutes. Running That's out of time, we remove the 40 minute time limit on your group meeting. Yeah, just said you've been upgraded. And I had, and I said, love it. So we'll see what happens. It just kind of <laughs> they said that you ran out of time. Yeah. Hopefully they don't. Oops. Yeah. But anyway, here's the next two books. And if you're going to sell online, just online, that's no big deal. There's there's people out there that do that. Um, real quick, I have a YouTube channel that I have on there, all some products. So if you want to follow YouTube on that, you can get more information from that as well to show you the different products. I've done a, a Get Ready With Me, and that will explain some of the makeup. Um, just follow all of us on social media and you'll learn something hopefully from one of us or all of us because we're all we all got some knowledge going on and uh i, I want to get make sure we get everything covered and i feel like we we've told them a lot and well, just uh, also remember remember you have a digital link for your book so if somebody says hey i'd like a brochure well, here, let me let me send you a digital copy and you can send a digital link right to their phone where they can look through the book page by page on their phone. Yeah, I wonder if we should. Uh, do you think you could find that where you could put in on how they do that? Send it, post it to the group. Who, me? Yeah, you. Yeah, I can do if that. You have time. <laughs> I know you're a busy woman. <laughs> so what's my daisy doing? I can do it. Huh? What's my Daisy doing? She's sunning herself right now. Oh, I love Daisy. Cause the sun's shining in through the window. Oh. Right. Okay. Jennifer, any any last words? <laughs> Nothing yet. <laughs> I hope that uh, my team can get their feet up off the ground. I, I want us to succeed. Yeah, well, I mean, it's hard to get started and it's hard to uh, to get your name out there. You just have to learn how to do it. Book tossing is another way. And it's where I'm headed after we get off here. <laughs> well, since you said that, Christy, why don't you tell us about book tossing? I keep, anytime I have any extra brochures left over at the end of the campaign or if customers return brochures to me, I save them until I've got a good couple hundred and then I put them in the what's new bag i don't know if i've got any close by but i have one close to me but not bagged up these are the the clear literature bags they come in a pack of 80 and are they 50 and 50. they're 80 cents for a pack yeah. of 50 of them. they also call them door hanger bags because they have the hole in them where you can hang them on a door but what i do is i take a brochure and um I usually put on the front of it something, a sticker or a piece of um, paper that uh, note that just says it's an old brochure, it's a sample brochure. Um, there's some examples on Team Roar and I think also on Team Beauty of things to say, but I put it in the, the clear literature bag so that it goes in sideways like so. And then I tuck it down inside the middle of the, the, the excess in the middle of the book. Chris like is all this. about tucking. <laughs> <laughs> and then after I get my couple hundred, I could just go hit a neighborhood and I toss out in the window in their driveway, just like and a paper boy. You know, and that's where I got my largest customer from was book tossing. Yeah, that's how I grew my, my customer base mm -hmm. too in the beginning. 
So whenever we took our deer last year, not this year, but last year to have be processed, I was tossing them and, and um, I don't, where's Webb's at? I forget what city it is. It's way out there. I was tossing them out the window. Johnny's driving, I'm tossing books in the driveways. And, and uh, if you do do book tossing, Sherry or anybody who's watching, and you, and you happen to put them in a mailbox, don't put them in the U.S. postal mailbox, but you can put them in the slot below that's for the newspaper slot only. And you because, can't put them in the, you cannot put them in the news enterprise box. The news oh, really? Paper, yeah, the paper carriers will pull them out and news enterprise will call you and tell you to come pick up your books. <laughs> Trust me, I did it. I, I, I put out like 700 books in and I used the, maple, the newspaper boxes and I got a phone call from news enterprise to come pick up all 700 books. Okay, well, can't do that, but you can yeah. put them in like the uh, the people who have the, the big brick ones with the, now I don't see how the News Enterprise can claim that, as long as it's not their actual News Enterprise right. box then, right? right? If, okay. is it, yeah, it's the blue box that says News Enterprise, you cannot use that. Okay. I've used the Courier Journal one before and I've not gotten a call on that one. All right. Now you can't toss in the driveways and, and I have never yet got somebody to call me and say, can I pick up this book? Here, let her. People say that all the time on these other groups. I don't know where they're throwing these books at because I've never got that phone call. I, I, I had a lady. I've gotten a, go ahead. I've gotten a phone call to come pick it up and I asked for the address and he wouldn't give me the address. Yeah, it makes you so wonder, Donna, what's I going on I didn't go pick that. it up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't go by myself anyway. I take my husband with me. So let him, let him mess with my truck driver. <laughs> and if I had to, I take I've had a few, I've had a few call me and tell me not to put books in their driveway. I haven't yet. I, now I did put in doctor's offices and I had one email from Avon that somebody complained, but I know exactly who done that because when I, when I took the books in and put it in the magazine rack, I turned around and there was a lady in the line behind them with Avon bags with her. So apparently she was their rep for that office. So I'm sure she picked up my book that I laid down and caught Avon and turned me in. Yeah. Whatever. If you're not getting in trouble, you're not doing it right. I got in trouble. <laughs> I ended up in trouble? the deposit slip thing at the bank. And the woman who called me, she's like, you need to come and get your books. We went outside to fill up the deposit slips because I'd laid one or two on the tops of them. She's like, y'all can't do that. And you need to come get your book. She's like, if we could, then I would leave my books laying around. And uh -huh, that's exactly she, it. She worked for another uh, direct sales company. Yeah. So uh -huh. she's like, you need to come and get your books or we're just going to throw them away. I left two books. She's like, well, leave them in your break room for me. Right. Exactly. Oh, Good thought. Yep. Um, my ex-husband leaves them in, he, he cleans the school, so he leaves them in the teacher's lounges for me. Anybody you can utilize to help you you're with your business, um, post on your page, hey, can I post on your page my business, or will you please share my posts for me? Tag your family members in it, and then ask them if they'll share again on their page. My page is public. All of my social media is public, so... I ain't scared. <laughs> Most people aren't. But yeah, utilize your family and your friends and ask them, can I tag you or can I post your page? So do what you can, get your name out there. Your business will build. It's not going to happen. Rome wasn't built in a day. Uh-oh, I can see Daisy. Where's my Daisy? There she is. Oh, I love my little dragon. Does she miss me? Well, she hears she jumped me. Off, I, I was going to say, I think she hears you because she Aww. jumped off of her. Hi, her. Daisy. Yeah, Daisy knows her Aunt Tammy. Yes, she does. I know y'all think I'm crazy, don't you? I love, <laughs> love, love lizards. <laughs> Except when I lived in Florida, they had those little sticky ones that would fall on you or little, the little sticky frogs that fall. Ugh. Nah, I didn't like those. So, okay, um, book tossing, samples. Um, Christina was supposed to be making it and I probably went to the other Zoom meeting, but I did post the, the new one. But she did ask, how do you make sure everything's set up to ship to the customer? And I'm not quite sure what she means by that question. 
the how does she what how do you what it says how to make sure everything is set up to ship to customer i'm not exactly sure what she meant by that question well let's all she'll have to do then is go into where you set up your web you know how you set up your website and turn off rep delivery if that's what she means yeah so i don't know um i mean the other the other thing she could do is actually log into her website like a customer and that's the other thing too you want to go in and register yourself as a customer on your website so Thank that you. you get emails for the specials and the coupons and the free shipping codes and so on and so forth so that um, you know what your customers are talking about if they call you and say hey i got this email that says blah 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 and you're going what are you talking about i don't right. know this way you if you've registered yourself you're getting that same email and you know what um they're talking about but register yourself as a customer and then go in and do a mock order and go take it all the way to um to checkout so that you can see one how it actually works and two you can make sure that it is connected with you that it is going to ship um but that yeah, make sure you click on your store your picture is at the top of the page or if you don't have your picture on there yet it list has you are shopping with and has your name but if your picture is there it's, it's easier and it tells them oh look they see who they're shopping with trust that's another thing make sure make sure you do put your picture on there and a little a little blurb about you you know right. you know, i'm a mom i'm a single mom of uh, 20 kids or whatever you are <laughs> i had twins that was good enough <laughs> Or, you know, I, I'm been married for 20 million years and I have four kids and I work at Jim Bob's restaurant, whatever. I know. have no Jim Bob. Just put a little. <laughs> <laughs> I work at Wally World. <laughs> just, put a, just put a little blurb about you because it makes it more personable. And then, you know, they feel like they may have something in common. And so when if they've got something in common, then that there's that connection that Jennifer was talking about that they may rather shop from you because you've got that similarity where you know if you don't have anything you don't have anything personal on there you don't have your picture you you know or anything about you it's basically talking to a computer or looking at a computer and they'll go find a different rep because there's nothing personable about it right uh, Avon is all about relationships and um it's definitely a relationship building business. a relationship with your, yeah building building a relationship with your customers is very very important um it's not just the sales it's making that connection with them giving them something that they need and sometimes it's not avon that they need what they need is your companionship right or just what's here yeah. um, and if you do get I that friendship you I might get a new rep too yeah I had I had an elderly customer that was a shut in and um so the only time she saw people was when she went to the doctor's appointments. So she would buy, you know, she didn't spend a lot. Her orders were anywhere from twenty five to thirty dollars. And I had to always block at least two hours when I took her right, order yeah. to deliver because she needed that she needed that time to visit. Right. And yeah. so then it turned into I would go and pick her up and take her to Fort Knox so she could go and pick up her medicines so that she could go to the PX in or you know and, and just do a little in shopping. In no, she's in a nursing home oh, now. I, knew, so I remember um, you talking about that. Yeah. yeah. But it no. got, you know, it got to that point where I just would block a whole afternoon and go spend that time with her. And it was good for me as well because, you know, it wasn't just getting that sale. It was, it was developing that relationship and having that friendship with her. And right. then, of course, when I got sick, I couldn't go to the nursing home and see her, but, you know, because of I just couldn't risk um, catching oh, anything god no well, there's so much in nursing time, homes i know so, i think that's where but, when uh, my know, mom went to that birthday party at the nursing home with one for one of her friends and I, I went in of course to walk her in and then back in to walk her back out and I, that's when i got 
sick I thought I was going to die. So I had to pick up something. And, and I am, Christy knows, I am a germ phobe. I will keep my hands clean. I can't, if I touch anything, I'm like, oh, putting my, and sometimes you can't help it. it it's going to get you. One way or the other, it's going to get you. And I have to constantly watch my mom with her being 88. That she don't, cause she, you know, you got to touch your nose. And I'm like, don't touch your face. Don't touch nothing. Because, you know, I can't have her getting sick on me either. So, okay. Um, I gave my newbies a pack of the Green Goddess facial oil. So I went and handed them out to just anybody, maybe put a post on there and say, you know, we have the CBD oil. This is the Green Goddess facial, the dry oil. And um, would you like a sample? Also, once you use the sample, would you please do a, let me know how you like it. Get something back out of them too. And then if they give you good feedback, then you share their feedback on your page to help get sales on that product. Jennifer's done that, Christy's oh, yeah. done that, I've done that, so, and it works, so. Oh, you'll be done in the daylight of the switch. Okay, this from the front. Hey, it's from the Oh, jeez. Anybody want to borrow you? Okay, you Sherry, well, you have a good day, and we'll talk to you later. Sherry's leaving, guys. I got Bye, you. Bye, Sherry. Glad you could join us. Okay, and you got to go to, yeah, I think we'll hop off of here. The, I think it's been a lot of good information. I did record it, and once I figure out how to add it on the group, I'll add it. I'll figure it out. I love computers. I'll figure it out one way or the other. So thanks, everybody, for joining. Any last words? Christy, you good? I can I'm barely good. see you from your mouth up, barely. <laughs> hey, y'all. I was leaning back in my chair. <laughs> he was leaning back. Do the rock away. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I raised, uh, I know, I raised boys in the 80s and 90s. What can I say? <laughs> okay. See y'all later. Thank Bye you. Bye. Bye. Yeah.